Out of all the games they have published, this publisher has either killed or abandoned just about all of them. From their biggest games like Ark Survival Evolved to some of their less well-known games like Fear the Night, Snail Games always seems to mess up big time. With how they treat their games, it seems like many of them are just cash grabs and rip-offs of each other. Snail Games is a Chinese video game publisher who has been known for lying and cheating on their own games and has not had a very good track record within the community. Starting with their first game released on Steam, Ark Survival Evolved, you can see a pattern in the next games they release as many of them share similar graphics and items. And the same can also be seen for their mobile games, which are typically MMO role playing games with similar playstyles and graphics and they rely heavily on predatory in game purchases. But going back to Ark, which was developed by Studio Wildcard and is currently their most successful game and is also also one of the biggest games in the world, it was very successful at launch since they timed it with the release of Jurassic World which created hype around the game and brought mainstream attention. And that, paired with its unique open world survival experience with dinosaurs, brought it to a peak of 80,000 players in just its first month. But due to many bugs, since its release was rushed, the player count lowered over time until it peaked again at 100,000 when it was officially launched in 2017. But over time, with the corruption and greed of snail games, ARK has declined in popularity with many of the original players moving away from the game and considering boycotting ARK 2 and ARK Ascended, which are set to be released in the future. If you want to learn more about the situation, I made a video going into detail tell about it so check it out after you're done watching this one and also consider subscribing. Just a month after the official release of ARK, Nail Games launched Dark and Light and it was fully developed and published by them. It seemed to be a copy of ARK but just set in a more fantasy land with a different story and different creatures and by having it developed by them and not wildcard they were hoping to take in all the profits from this game which copied a lot of the work wildcard did on arc and they also didn't provide much support to the game with it not having any updates in the last three years which just further supports that this was supposed to be a quick cash grab and this explains why it didn't do that well as there are many unfavorable reviews of the game with one review stating i really wanted to leave a positive review but sadly i can't because the game is abandoned it seems it had great potential too and another review stating game had some potential, developers seem to have abandoned it though. No updates in over 3 years while still offering it as an early access title on the store should be a punishable crime. And there are plenty of other reviews complaining that the game has been abandoned for 3 years and it's just a cash grab because it's still in early access and costs $20 after 5 years. After this, they decided to go back to ARK more directly with the release of ARK Park which is supposed to be like ARK but in VR. But once again, this was just another loosely put together game trying to profit off of the success of ARK. They tried to include all the main aspects of ARK and just ended up with a game that doesn't have any real focus as described by this review reading. The main problem is ARK Park just tries to do too many things at once. I'm still not sure if it's a crafting game, first person shooter, or educational experience. And another review that says, this is a tech demo, not a game. Snail Games even a Responded to this review with some broken English reading. Hi Loose, today we update the patch and add free movement and fix many bugs. Welcome back to enjoy the game again. We need your voice to improve. Also in the future many fantastic parts will join in DLC. And the comments on this were all expressing their dislike towards all of this. With the DLC costing $8 on top of a $40 game just for some cosmetic outfits and a simple reskin. This just shows how Snail Games had planned this all out to be a cash grab since the game has now been abandoned. After this, however, they will release what is their second biggest game called Atlas. And it was another spin-off of ARK with it having similar items, a similar UI, 
UI and similar game mechanics, just all set in a more naval themed world. And this game had built up a lot of hype with its promising trailers and sneak peeks and the amount of mainstream streamers that were going to be playing the game on launch day. But it was that day where everything went wrong. There were tons of bugs and glitches and it was evident that the game was nowhere near being ready to be played. I'm in the ocean again. Bro! Yeah. How can your game be this bad? Why is there a level two snake, a level three fucking bird, a level a level fourteen like like a fucking horse, and then a level one hundred and fifty wolf? I, I come on, dude. And with the lack of support from Snail Games, Atlas went from over 50,000 active players in its first month to a massive decline, where now the number is only around 1,000. Once again, this seems to be another cash grab, which has now been abandoned except for the routine wipes of its servers for the current player base. Another game they have abandoned is Outlaws of the Old West. It is similar to Ark, but is set in a Wild West themed world with a different UI. It has mixed reviews overall, with many complaining that the game has been abandoned and was once again, a cash grab by Snail Game. And similar to Dark and Light, it is still in early access despite it being out 4 years with no recent updates or news on the game, and it is still set at full price. One review says, Dead Game will not be updated, has been abandoned as the devs were not paid by the publisher, which I cannot confirm but is definitely a possibility considering how they have treated their other developers such as Wildcard, whose CEO they had tried to frame in a leaked conversation with the CEO of Snail Games. The next game is Pixar and it's another spin-off of Ark, but unlike the other games listed earlier, it was actually pretty good and is still doing alright, but it does have the risk of being abandoned soon. Pixar Ark is basically Ark and Minecraft combined, but it does have different creatures and different features that still make it unique from Ark. The Twitter account for the game has also been very inconsistent, hinting at that the game could be getting abandoned by Snail Games in the near future. Snail Games switched it up for the next game they released, which was Fear the Night. It is a zombie shooter type of game based in an open world environment, but it does not have very good reviews, with people complaining that it is barely a game, it's a cash grab, and it has been abandoned. And following a similar pattern, the next game they released, Last Oasis, also got many bad reviews, with them even being mostly negative for the last 30 days. It is similar to all their other games, in that it is an open world survival game, and three years Years later it is still in early access even though they have abandoned the project. The next three games they published are also very unremarkable. None of them seem to have gotten many people playing and they all have mixed reviews. They seem like projects all just thrown together to make it seem like Snow Games has more games, possibly to attract more investors as the company is losing money. And finally we have their most recent game, which is different to everything else they have done. It is a wild Wild West themed Among Us, in which there is one outlaw who is trying to avoid the sheriff and blend in with everyone else and do certain tasks. And so far, it has very positive reviews, but it is still too soon to know if Snail Games is taking a step in a new direction or if this is just another one of their cash grabs that they're going to abandon in the next few months.